guided reading, you have reading, then you have um, reading and explaining, and then you have follow-up activities of the same story they have read, and today is a follow-up activity. We're going to be using props to act out the story, which I find helps to focus the children on the learning objective that we're thinking about. And it's active, we're, you know, we're standing up, we're not just all sitting on the carpet looking at the book together. At Princess May Primary in Hackney, Joy George is asking her Class 2 guided reading group to revisit a well-known text, Little Red Riding Hood. And also we're going to be looking at speech marks, full stops and capital letters. While at Gade Valley Primary in Hertfordshire, Jenny Berry is reading an exciting but jumpy tale with her reception class. OK, then where are we going to start then? There. Up here. Right. Once there was a big white mouth frog with the biggest, widest mouth you ever did see. I'm a big white mouth frog, shouted the one. The frog goes on a journey where he meets and greets a wide range of strange animals. Hey you, big thumping feet, who are you and what do you eat? Shouted the wide mouthed frog. We'd be posh again. I'm a kangaroo, said kangaroo, and I eat grass. The first thing we're going to do is try and put the animals in the same order as in the storybook, and then we're going to try and make them say the right words. Are you feeling clever enough? The wide mouth frog. The wide mouth frog. And I've got, oh, who's this one? The, the koala. koala. The shark. Not a shark, was he? The what was he? He was a crocodile. He's got big, sharp teeth like a shark, hasn't he? Who was the first creature he met? Kangaroo. The kangaroo. kangaroo. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Right, yeah. so shall I write kangaroo on a list to help me? Who was next? Who was the third creature in the story? Possum. Who did he come across possum. next? Possum. You think the possum? Emo. I don't know. Can Emo. you check for me? We're now going to find the main characters in our Back at Princess May Primary, the guided readers are now matching the right character to the correct description. <laughs> I'm going to read the first one with you. And we're going to try and decide who that character is. It says here, he or she is good. He or she has got medium-sized eyes. He or she has got medium-sized ears and a medium-sized nose. Which character is that? Mother. Thumbs up if we agree. Why do we think that's the mother, Chelsea? I think it's the mother because it, it, it does look like she has medium-sized nose. With the matching of the characters and description, we're trying to pull out some descriptive language and also allowing the children to use the language and see how the language matches the picture so they can use that same descriptive language when they're writing their own story or writing up their own description. Now, let's put them in the right order. Meanwhile, at Gade Valley Primary, the group is matching the various animal characters to their relevant speech bubbles. So can I give the kangaroo to you there because you're first in my row. Let's have a look at all the different speech bubbles. I eat grass. I eat grass. Who needs that one? Who said I eat grass in the story? Kangaroo. Okay. I'd like you to go and put your kangaroo over there on the table. And I'd like you, Tiana, to go and put your koala over there by the playhouse. I'm going to give you your own little wide mouth frog and you're going to go around and you're going to visit all the different creatures and I'm going to have my ears switched on and I'm going to check that when you're telling the story with your puppet that you're using all the words from the story. Are you ready? Wow. Oh yes, kangaroo. Okay. Who are you and what do you eat? Can you read it? And Back at Princess May page. Primary, Four. Jenny asks the children to read aloud, Four. taking note of punctuation. I will take it to her, said Little Red Riding Hood. I know the way through the What I would like you to look out for are some speech marks, 
full stops and capital letters. The capital letters and your speech marks. How do they use the speech marks here, Sharon G? Speech marks because, because they, they, they know that someone's talking. What else tells us that it's a saying sentence? So apart from our speech marks, what else in that sentence tells us that it's a saying sentence? Yes, George? It's got a said. It's got a said. We need to know who is saying it. So was Joy happy with her guided reading session? I was really pleased they were able to retell the story from the beginning to the end using the language from the story and also description. Sometimes you can see a character by actually being able to describe them. I think some children might struggle with and they got that really, really well. And also identifying um, features of the text, which is something we did, the speech marks and capital letters and why they're there. I think those are the three areas that I, I was very pleased with. I like our guided reading to be fun, to be interactive, um, to not all be sitting um, with a book in front of us. We, you know, we get up, we join in, we join in repeated refrains and we try and make it fun so the children see that reading is integral to their, their, their daily life at school. Thank you.